Welcome back, folks. Today we are on Tony the Blade, my other bandit, because when I logged in this morning, the Freedom and the Mercenary factions opened back up. I don't know if they just opened them so people could join or if the other factions got high enough that it kind of evened them out. But I went ahead and joined immediately because I don't want to get locked out. And now we're going to be knocking out the quests to join the sub faction. So came over here and I talked to this guy. Told him I wanted to join the clans. You're already being referred to the recruiter, so and the mercenary recruiter is going to be right back here next to the announcement board in the 100 rads bar his name is green i see you're looking for a place to stay today's your lucky day the mercenaries weren't recruiting just anyone but the rules have changed i'm green our organization's recruiter i set tests for people who want to try to join us are you interested maybe what's so good about your elite club do you think i'm about to turn on a commercial so a big titty girl in a military uniform can tell you how fucking awesome it is to be one of us we're professional killers and survivalists and the zone cannot break us we earn a living by doing the most hellish work in these parts if you're so good why do you need recruits do you have a big turnover or something as our leader Muller says, the stakes are high. Every clan is trying to increase their influence. We're not going to give up our positions. We won't let ourselves be squeezed out by some pathetic sectarians. I want to join the mercenaries. Keep in mind, just because we have vaccines doesn't mean that it's easy to earn a spot. We're going to need you to run some errands, see what you're made of. We don't recruit weaklings, retards, or assholes. God. Oh, you're here to test me, aren't you? Well, don't drag your feet. Test me. What do you think is the most valuable thing for organization? Weapons. Oh, no, it was authority. When some scumbag tries to screw with us, that's definitely bad for our authority. This digger Stachkov put in an order and paid in advance, but after we executed the order impeccably, he held out the second part of the payment. Should I look him up at the dump? So the quest Mercenary Recruiter is complete, and we get the quest Authority all over. All right, I get you. I'll look for the scumbag who violated the Sacred Authority. I'll be back. So now we are going down to the dump. Oh, just to the digger base. Yeah, this is where Junkman is. Okay, I'm going to run down there, and I'll see you guys here in a second. All right, we are down at the digger base. We're gonna talk to this guy that's in the bathroom between where Slasher and Junkman are here. His name is Spatushev. I've already sold out all the junk on my last trip. Don't have anything for you. Actually, I'm not concerned about junk. I'm more concerned about one of your buddies. Are you talking about Stachkov? That fool's always getting himself into trouble. I heard on the grapevine he's got some problems again, but it's nothing to do with me, you know? I see. I don't need you, man. I need Stachkov. Where is he? I don't know. I don't want any problems because of him. So we haven't talked for a long time. Sorry, I can't help you. Now we can either say, I'll pay you. You don't want any problems. Well, you're going to run into some problems if you don't start talking. I'm going to tell him you don't want any problems. I'm going to tell him I'm not a nobody, but my friends are mercenaries. There's a lot of them. Okay, that that worked. I was, I was about to say, shit, am I going to have to pay him more money? He says, mercenaries, oh my God, is Stachkov really stupid enough to quarrel with the mercenaries? I don't want to be like him. I'm on your side. You don't have to do anything to me. He was going to check one of his stashes. It should be in the village, in the northern part of the pit. I don't know anything else, I swear. So authority overall is complete, and now we get Stachkov on the run. That's more like it. From now on, I suggest you choose your friends more wisely. Now we're going all the way up to the pit. So I'm going to run all the way back up to the pit, and I'll see you guys here in a second. All right, we are over here in the pit where it's, it's going to be with a zombie thing always spawns. Okay. So once you get to this area right here, it's going to be in this northeastern building. You're going to come all the way inside. And it's going to be behind the fireplace here. There's going to be a large backpack. Search the hideout. That completes the quest. Statue cover on the run. You get his diary and lying low in the dead city has been received. So now on to the dead city. First though, let's look at this book. The last entry reads, I'm going to lie low in the dead city. There are a couple of nice spots to the southeast. So we're going to go to the dead city and check the southeast area and see if we can't find this guy. I'll see you guys here shortly. All right. So once we're in the dead city, there's tons of places to look. But where you want to go is right here on the map you'll see green and you'll see Stachkov's corpse. So we're gonna look at his corpse. Green catches up the lying digger and finishes him off. That's how mercenaries deal with anyone who tries to get one over on them. And we're gonna talk to green. Not fast enough, but at least you have tenacity and perseverance. It could have been better, but you still have plenty of time, probably. You're here, but is this Stachkov? Did you get to him first? He says, yeah, I didn't want to let this son of a bitch get away just because we sent fresh recruits. And then one of our scouts spotted him in the dead city and I decided to take initiative. There are two lessons for you here. Be First, be quick. Develop the instincts of a predator. When you're on a mission, you have to fully devote yourself to the task. Second, take a look at the sack of meat and remember that this is what happens to anyone who decides to fuck with the mercenaries. Consider them noted. And that ends the quest lying low in the dead city and gives us 6,000 rubles. And now we get the quest Romeo. Now we have to meet with Romeo, who is all the way up at the mercenary camp. So I'm going to run up there and I'll see you guys here in a second. All right, we are up at the mercenary base now. Going over here to talk to Romeo and see what he's got to say. He's probably going to give us another quest. He's going to be up top here, kind of southwestish. 
What do you want? I'm a busy person. Please don't waste my time. I've completed the mission to, that your recruiter Green assigned me. I want to join the mercenaries. Well, I hope you're not one of those lazy punks that just want to make it all on their own. I'm ready to work if that's what you mean. The mercenaries are sometimes called soldiers of fortune. I don't like this name. It makes it sound like we rely on luck. We have to work. We have to toil. We have to achieve success through blood, sweat, and tears. Got it all. Work, no play. You need to visit hell. I survived the passageway, so I know what I'm talking about. I don't want to mess with your head too much, all right? You either know what's what or you're not going to last long. I'm looking for a guy I can send to the Covenant base. Shall we get down to business? What's this passageway you mentioned? It's a narrow neck of the land in the savage territories. We fought there a long time ago. Tell me about the task. The longer those Covenant assholes hang around here, the more obvious it is we're going to end up at a war of extermination with them sooner or later. While we still have time, we should gather information and learn about the enemy. What kind of information do you want? Who is Metropolitan and what are his plans? What motivates people who join the Covenant? How are they lured there? What military operations are they planning in the future? I doubt you're going to be able to pry an answer to that last question, but what the hell? And whom should I ask all these burning questions? I don't think the Covenant officers are going to want to chat with me. Their ranks are full of young recruits and newbies. They'll answer most of your questions, so show a little courtesy, talk to them, and if you have a way with words, then it'll be fun for you. Well, okay, I'll try to get the information for you. So the quest Romeo is complete, and now we get information about the Covenant, which we're just going to the Covenant base. So you can essentially go underground anywhere in the Fool's Path, uh, it looks like. You can just you just need to get underground to the Covenant base area, which let's see what's going to take us to the closest one here. It's probably going to be the one right out of south of here. So we're going to go straight back out the south door, and there is a, there's a door to the Covenant underground right here in front of the Mercenary base. This should put us out really close to the uh, Covenant base. Yep. Legitimately puts us out right in front of it. All right. Now we have to talk to three people. We have to talk to the first recruit, second recruit, third recruit, which means we have to find them first here. Hello. Oh, what I meant to say is peace and suffering and peace and suffering to you too. Are you one of the newbies? Yeah, I joined the covenant quite recently. It was hard, especially with the pilgrimage, but I managed. I hope it was worth it. Why did you decide to join in the first place? Why such sacrifices? These days, a lot of people are getting desperate to join in the covenant. Have you heard about the blessed metropolitan, a local leader preaches that being blessed is a punishment from God that stems from the zone. Are you one of the blessed? I don't like to talk about it. I hope that this soon this blessed disease, like my whole sinful life before, will be in the past. Metropolitan says if you follow the ways of the covenant and renounce your sins, you can regain your purity. And you believe this? They do, especially bandits, oddly enough. Their lives have always been filled with sin, I suppose. Although I heard some of them join the covenant in the hopes of plundering stalkers with the support of Metropolitan's well-armed fighters. <laughs> Got it. Are there any other interesting tidbits you want to share? I'm sorry, I have to pray. Then I have a lot of work to do. Go chat with someone else. I'm sure the other recruits will be able to tell you something interesting. The one I talked to is right here, where if you're looking at Metropolitan, he's right to the right. Find another one standing around somewhere. Well, that's a recruit. I'm going to talk to this recruit right here to the left of the barter guy. Hey, you're a newbie here too, right? You're stagging around looking like you have no clue where you're supposed to be going. It's all good. We're all a bit confused here. Hey, do you mind chatting? I can for a little while. I was given a task to do, but I can spare the time. Can you tell me a bit about yourself? How did you get to the Covenant? I was in Saint's gang. Hey, I know him. He's the kingpin from the swamps. When I discovered that I was one of the blessed, the attitudes towards them was already uneasy back then. I remember approaching our guide Scuba and asking him to walk with me to the cordon for safety. I was afraid I'd get killed. Did you get chased by your own people? No, they weren't chasing their own people down yet, but those weirdos showed up. The orderlies, led by an asshole named Jaundice, tried to grab me. They were looking for me. They wanted to kill me. I made it to the cordon and hightailed it all the way up north. You mentioned you were given some kind of task. Can you tell me about it? I shouldn't talk to you about that. I may just still be a small fry, but there doesn't mean we can start blabbing about my work. You understand, right? You can trust me. I'm going to tell him you can trust me. We're both comrades. We're in the same boat. I fought the orderlies too and killed Jaundice. Tell him how you killed Jaundice. A bit crazy. This story is almost too good to be true. You know, I, I can usually tell when a person's lying, but you speak so sincerely. So I guess you really did just punish that bastard Jaundice. Deep down, I hope I would be the one to finish him off, but it's still great that you did it. I've told you my story. Maybe you can share yours just to satisfy my curiosity. What task did they give you? All right, I'll satisfy your curiosity. Besides, you did me a big favor by killing Jaundice. They want us to send a small combat group on a recon mission closer to the mercenaries base. We'll be positioned to the southwest of it, as far as I understand. It seems some of the people are seriously afraid of those guys. Wow, well, no matter. I'm sure the Mighty Covenant will sweep away those bastards sooner or later. I think it's time for me to go. Recruit, okay. 
So the other recruit, if you're at the announcement board, turn around and head to the southwest. And he's going to be around this corner on this little couch here. Hey, you're new here, right? Why are you distracting me? It look, does it look like I want to talk to you? Just wanted to ask you some questions about the covenant. Must find peace and fervent prayer. Not waste my time on chit chat. Why would I answer your questions? So you got you can either tell him how about I offer you money, which he probably won't want, or you could <laughs> you can tell him because if you don't, I'm gonna drop kick you in the kidneys. Or you could say I don't just seek enlightenment through prayer, but also through conversation with people who are as unhappy as I am. Is that not the proper way? Which that sounds like some shit that the covenant would say because my other guys in the covenant we hear all this crap all the time. All right, Metropolitan Priest, that we should be tolerant and listen to our brothers, especially if they're in trouble. What do you want to know? Tell me more about Metropolitan. Who is he? Where did he come from and why? We don't know much about him. He came from the mainland shortly after the whole Blue Sphere story started. No one knows his real name or whether he is who he says he is. Rumored some officers have received certain sacraments of initiation related to our teachings as well as to Metropolitan himself. So that ends information about the Covenant and now we get reporting to Romeo. That's quite enough. Thank you for sharing. We're actually going to go out this door over here it's not the far southwestern it's more just like a west door and there should be yeah there's a way up right here and i think this is going to put us pretty close to the mercenary base yeah now we just hang a right and the mercenary base is right there all right we're back at romeo got something interesting for you you exceeded my expectations. You seem to have a talent for espionage. It's like this will come in handy on our next mission. All right, enough of the chit chat. I'll give you your pay. Are you ready to carry on working? And that gives us 12,000 rubles. What is it this time? Our office received an order for a stalker who goes by the name of Fox. You need to do everything quickly and cleanly. The problem is Fox isn't some pansy from the cordon. He's an experienced stalker who knows his way around the zone. And you want to send me on the hunt for this experienced stalker? No, you're probably too green for that. And this order is serious. You can't fuck it up. Basically, you're going to be handling the preparatory stage of the operation. I don't know how you think the mercenaries operate right now, but we don't just show up at the bar with guns blazing ready for a shootout. We need to track the movements of Fox's group from the bar according to the information we've received. Fox may expect an assassination attempt, so sending someone to follow him is a bad idea. How are you going to manage that? I have an old acquaintance amongst the bandits who I served with in the army. His name is Lech Deribus Deribusov. He's always had two main talents, crafting all kinds of crap and chugging back beer in volumes that would be lethal for any normal person. <laughs> An interesting acquaintance. At my request, he's built small surveillance devices like a tracker. Despite its modest dimension, it sends a very powerful signal. Plant the tracker on Fox, and it'll make it easier to track our target, even if it drops off the face of the earth. Sounds like a plan. So you need to meet up with Letch and pick up the tracker from him. After that, head to the bar. Find Fox's group. Figure out a way to plant the tracker. I know it might not be easy, but at the end of the day, you didn't come to us to get a job shining shoes, right? Am I supposed to plant the tracker specifically on Fox? I would prefer that you plant it specifically on Fox, but if you realize that won't be able to pull it off, you can plant it on one of his people as a last resort. I hope your hands are quick enough to do what needs to be done in the best way possible. If you do, there's an even bigger reward in it. So you can do the easy way and just throw it on one of the other guys, or you can put it on Fox and get a better reward. So that completes the quest reporting to Romeo, and we get the, the quest, um, uh, how do you pronounce that? We get the uh, dirigible. He's going to be a dirigible now. We get the quest dirigible. He is now an airship because I don't know how to pronounce that name. Okay, I'll get right on it. So we have to meet with Home Skiller here who is going to be way over here. He's going to be way far in the fool's path that way. Now, I'm not a mercenary re yet, right? Nope. I was really hoping I could sell some of this crap. So I'm going to run all the way over here, and I'll see you guys here in a second. He is going to be way to the west over here. He's at this same area where this zombie encampment spawns a lot. Looks like he's going to be inside this house. Yeah, he's just chilling on the bed here. Hey, I'm guessing Romeo sent you. And you must be Lech dirigible. There was an incident. I don't like where this is going. I built the tracker that Romeo needed ages ago. I was keeping it stored in my stash not far from here. When he said he needed it, I went to fetch it. I had just arrived when a pack of mutants swooped down on me and I barely got away. Fortunately, I managed to save most valuable thing from the stash. So you were able to save the tracker? Tracker? No, I'm talking about the beer. So the tracker's in the stash. I'll give you the coordinates. You just got to sneak in there and pick up the tracker. All right, give me the coordinates. And that completes dirigible and we get the stash of prized possessions quest. Okay, where is the stash? It's going to be up to the northeast of here. Looks like it's going to be where all the boar hideouts and stuff pop. So it says it's around here somewhere. Is it up top? How the hell does it get up top? Search the stash. There's the tracker, so that ends the stash of prized possessions, and we get Fox's squad. 
now we have to go all the way to the bar so i'm gonna make that long run and i will see you guys here in a second all right we are at the bar looks like fox and his little crew are gonna be down here in the bottom southeast corner so it looks like we got one two there's only three of them that's fox we got perishing we have bagayev love that his armor looks like a fucking fox busily inspecting his gear it looks like him and his squad are busy packing for another trip you notice the stalker get a little tense you approach but he pretends to continue going about his business hey you getting ready to go on a trip yes we're getting ready so i'd rather you not distract me all right i'm busy and my people are busy too just so you know now we can say a bunch of different things or just try to plant the tracker and i'm pretty sure that would fail um i'm gonna say i'm here on business wanted to order an artifact from you and your group will you take on the job oh i see you're a businessman not just a chatterbox sorry maybe we would have taken on the order but we've got a pretty tight schedule and some grand plans who's this order for by the way for yourself yes i needed a certain artifact got it all right thanks damn well we, we made a fucky wucky i'm gonna talk to Persian now you're not against drinking and chatting, right? He said that his comrades Fox and Bagayev are not very friendly. They don't like my openness very much. Well, what can you do? You don't pick your friends. Tell me about Fox. Complicated guy. Lives, breathes, and sleeps business. He doesn't like to talk for the sake of it. What about Bagayev? Is your squad headed somewhere? How long you been on the zone? And I'm going to play at the tra tracker while he tells his tale. And that ends Fox's squad and you get a marked man. Now, I couldn't, I don't know what you're supposed to say to plan it on him. If you know, go ahead and throw it in the comments below for everybody else. But the way I tried it didn't work. So now we are just going back to Romeo. So I'll see you once we make it back up to base. All right, we're back at the mercenary base. Going upstairs to talk to Romeo again. We didn't get to plant the tracker on Fox. I kind of messed that up, but we still got it planted. Couldn't plant it on Fox. I had to plant it on one of his squad members. That gave us 8,000 rubles. Are you ready to join us? And that completes a marked man, and we get... I'm going to say, yep, I want to be a mercenary. I understand. Thank you for your trust. Take a look around. Get to know everyone. I don't have any new assignments for you, but I'm sure someone will have a job for you here. Thanks. I'll settle in. So now we are... Mercenary Tony the Blade. We have, it looks like, one side quest from a guy named Bruno. We'll be doing a video on that side quest later. So, if this video helped you out, go ahead and drop a like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I hope you guys have a good one, and I will catch you in the next video. Y'all take it easy.